What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you a look at the Dragon Disciple Prestige class in the upcoming Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, which is currently in beta. Now the Dragon Disciple is essentially taking the Draconic Bloodline from the Sorcerer class and kind of going all in on it. Now, like all prestige classes, this comes with some prerequisites. Most of them are fairly simple. You need to be able to spontaneously cast first level arcane spells, have five ranks in the skill of Knowledge Arcana. You cannot be an Imperial, Sylvan, or Sage Sorcerer. That is because those sorcerers force you to take a specific bloodline that is modified from its original version. And this big block of green here might be a little confusing at first, but essentially all it means is that if you have a bloodline already before picking up levels in this prestige class, it has to be a draconic bloodline, which is why you can't be the other types of sorcerers. Now, you don't have to be a sorcerer to pick up this prestige class by any means, though it certainly seems like this particular prestige class was made specifically with the sorcerer in mind. When we put levels into Dragon Disciple, we are going to pick up Persuasion, Knowledge Arcana, Knowledge World, Perception, Lore Nature, Lore Religion, as well as Mobility for class skills. Now, as far as our base attack bonus goes, when we hit level 10, we are going to have plus seven for our first attack and plus two for our second attack. That is a bit reductionist for how base attack bonus works. If, if you're interested in the specifics of how it works, I recommend you check out my combat basics video for Wrath of the Righteous. It'll explain that a little better. I'm just trying to keep this simple for the moment. Now at level one, we pick up the class feature Blood of Dragons. A dragon disciple will add their levels to their sorcerer levels when determining the powers gained from their bloodline. If a dragon disciple does not have levels of sorcerer, you instead gain bloodline powers from a draconic bloodline using specifically just your dragon disciple level as your sorcerer level to determine the bonuses. Now, if you haven't already picked a draconic bloodline through being a sorcerer, for instance, you will have to choose one of the draconic bloodlines upon becoming a dragon disciple. If you're interested in exactly what that means, I recommend you check out my sorcerer class video. It goes over all the bloodlines pretty thoroughly. But suffice to say that the Draconic Bloodline type still has to match, so if you picked Black Dragon for Sorcerer, you have to pick Black Dragon here. Moreover, this ability will not grant you the bonus spells from your Bloodline unless you possess spell slots of the appropriate level. If you gain the spell slots afterwards, then the bonus spells will just be automatically added in. Also at first level, we pick up Natural Armor Increase. So at first, fourth, and seventh level, we will gain a plus one increase to our character's natural armor AC. These will, of course, stack. Now at level two, and then at level four, we gain a plus two, and then another plus two at level four, increase to our strength for a total of plus four. In addition, at level two, we will also be able to pick our arcane spellcasting school to carry forward as we pick up levels in Dragon Disciple. Typically, this will just be whatever arcane spellcasting school granted you access to the prestige class. However, if you possess more than one, you will get to choose. That said, at fifth and ninth level, you will actually not get spell progression as a Dragon Disciple. And lastly, at level two, we pick up Dragon Bite. This will add a bite attack to our attacks. It deals one die six points of damage, one die four if you're small, plus 1.5 times your Dragon Disciple's strength modifier. Plus, when you reach level six, it will gain a one die six points of energy damage. The damage type, of course, being related to our bloodline. At third level, we pick up a breath weapon. Even if our level does not yet grant us that power from our bloodline, we still get this breath weapon. Moreover, once our level is high enough to have normally gotten it through our bloodline, we gain an additional use of our breath weapon per day. And then of course the type of breath weapon, again, depends on what type of draconic bloodline you're using. At fifth level, we gain blind sense with a range of 25 feet. Basically anything within your line of sight will have a very hard time actually using any sort of stealth or invisibility against you. And then at 10th level, the range on that increases to 50 feet. Now at level six, we gain a plus two ability boost to our constitution score. At seventh level, we pick up dragon form, which will allow us to assume the form of a dragon with the effects of the spell Dragonkind one. At eighth level, we receive an ability boost to our intelligence score, giving us a plus two there. 
At ninth level, we gain the Wings ability, which will grant us a pair of Wings that gives us a plus three dodge bonus to AC against melee attacks and an immunity to ground-based effects. And then at level 10, our Dragon form works as a Dragon Kind 2 spell and gives us an extra use of it per day, with our Caster level for this equal to our effective Sorcerer levels for our Bloodline. So there you go, guys. There is a look at the Dragon Disciple and its mechanics in Wrath of the Righteous. Pretty cool prestige class overall, though again, it feels very tailored specifically for the Sorcerer, and more specifically, the Draconic Bloodline Sorcerer. That said, any class that uses a Draconic Bloodline or can pick up a Draconic Bloodline should still be able to get a decent use out of this if they should so choose. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz, but truly, truly, just thank you guys for watching. We could not be here without you. So thank you again. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.